I'm gonna... Oh yeah, dude, that one came out of nowhere and smoked it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be fishing the Fort Soto Golf Pier for Pompano and uh, mackerel. Super windy out here. Uh, it's blowing at like 15 knots right now, so not ideal for fishing off the pier, but the golf pier here is kind of ducked off from the wind a little bit because the wind is coming out of the east. I went out there to check it out to see if it's uh, fishable or not, and it's pretty decent. A lot of bait fish out there. Water is a little bit stirred up, but we should be okay. We're just rigging up right now. Gonna tie on leader material. Gonna go with the uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on both rods. We're bringing two rods today, one for Spanish mackerel and the other one for uh, pompano. Both Zodius rods, seven foot medium light and seven foot medium. The medium lights paired up with the 2000 PC fun. The medium rods paired up with the 3000 PC fun. I'm running 10 pound braid on both reels. Should be good. We're gonna rig up really quick and I'll see you guys on the pier. We are switching up the game plan. We're gonna get some bait and uh, drift that around, see if we can get a uh, macro to come up and hit it. I don't, I haven't seen any macro coming up, so I don't know. I don't know if they're down there or not, but let's see. We got one, we got a couple. It's plenty for now. Didn't wanna let the, uh, the net sink way down there because you know i don't want to christmas tree this this net here good size bait to fish with you know these bait are good for just about um anything you're targeting snook redfish trout on the flats mackerel in this case um flounder whoa these birds man these birds are ruthless good looking bait right there that is a thread fin actually not a pilchard, but I saw a fish come up earlier. Couldn't tell what it was. Ah, oh, it's a ladyfish. Definitely don't want to lose my hook. So we're gonna bring him up here. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Jeez. It's a big ladyfish right there. See it. Let's see. Let's drift another bait out there. Let's see if we can get the right species. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just hooking these green back on the back with a long shank um, size one or one aught J hook. Just free lining. There we go. Let's see, let's try to get a mackerel. <laughs> There we go. What is that? Is that a mackerel or a ladyfish? That might be a mackerel there. Target species? Yeah? I think so. Oh yeah, for sure. That's a decent one. Oh yeah. There it is. You want him? There you go, man. Thank you. You're welcome. One mackerel so far, technically two. Um, first one I caught wasn't on camera, so that doesn't count. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just drifting these greenbacks, or, you know, white bait along with the current, free lining, letting it swim naturally along with the current. And uh, these macro, man, they'll, they'll pick it up. Good one. That's a big one. Dude, that's a freaking tank. Look at that one, dude. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yes, sir. Completely ran out of bait, but that's no problem because there are plenty of uh, pilchards right down here. Oh yeah, should be one and done type cast right here for sure. Look at that. Way more than enough bait right there. Oh yeah. Let's 
Here's what we're gonna do with the rest. We're just gonna send them down here. It's chum. Hopefully that, that chum, you know, hopefully that chum brings the, uh, the mackerel up. There we go. Oh, oh, he came up at it. Oh, I'm on it. Oh yeah, dude, that one came out of nowhere and smoked it. <laughs> These fish, man, they are a lot of fun to catch, especially on the free line. I mean, they smoke these uh, pilchards. Oh yeah, nice one. Nice one. Oh yeah, we're gonna keep this guy. I'm gonna go get the cooler. I'm gonna have to go get the cooler. That that's the one to keep. Oh yeah! Shout out to see you, dude, for uh, giving me that hook. I don't think I have any more of those uh, long shank hooks, so I can't lose that hook. Must not lose the hook. <laughs> one second, I'll hold it up to so you. Can see it. Oh yeah, baby! Look at that. That's a good one there. With catching the shark. He's been there it is. Not a good one. I know, man. It's a lot of fun because these fish, they'll come up and, and crush it on the surface of the water. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> At least for me, it does. Yeah. That's a nice one, too. Two in the bucket. All right, we're going to have to go get the cooler now. That's a nice one. Thank you. They're out there. Everyone's hooking up. Everyone's getting them. Yeah, he's got a giant mackerel on. That's insane. Dude, that's a big mackerel. Oh my gosh. Fort de Soto Pier. Oh, want it. Oh no. Look at that mackerel. It's pretty big. Am I on? I might be on. I'm on. Ah, oh, lady. Ladyfish. Look at that mackerel, dude. That is a tank of a mackerel. Missed him. Oh yeah, dude, I had I had like three foot leader. Look at that. Something, something like swiped at it. Must've been like a few of them out there. And one got my, my bait and the other one just, you know, swiped at my leader. That's okay though, because I brought back Found these, luckily, in the truck. Size six, a little bit smaller, but should work just as good. Oh, right here too. Dude, that was so close. Oh, took it. Wow, it's amazing how like smaller hook can just like change up the, the bite. I don't know what it is. I think, you know, when you use smaller hooks, the bait just feel like a lot more natural compared to using bigger, bigger size hook. Because the bigger size hook just drags the bait, but the smaller hook can't really drag the bait because it, it, you know, it's small. There we go. It's just like immediate bite. I was gonna come up and swipe that in right here. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Dude, he came up and smoked it on the surface. Oh yeah, had to switch up using smaller size hook, size six J hook. Oh yeah, that's a decent one there, man. Ton of fun, a ton of fun. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Look at that tiny number six hook, got him right on the, uh, the lip there, sick. These are all solid fish. Everyone out here is literally hooking up, man. They are chewing. They are chewing out here. We're gonna bleed them and spike them here, and then throw them in the, in the cooler. Sick. I want to see one come up right here. Let's see if it'll come up. It should come up right here. One should come up right here. Oh, smoked it. Ah. Oh. That's crazy, he came up right here. He's dead, the bait's dead. You know, I'm a big big fan of these, you know, smaller size 
hooks. Number six. Six or four should do. But here's where here's where I like to hook the green back, right there through its nose. It depends. Like I've hooked them through the back, through the nose. They still get crushed. Like everyone's hooking up, man. They are here. Should be another one right here. Oh! Got him right there, dude. That's another one. Another good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good fish. That PC Fun 3000 putting the heat on him. Oh, yeah. Another one. We'll keep him. In the box, baby. Comes right off. They are chewing right now. Here we go. We're about to whack one right here. That's where I like to hook them through the nose, just like that. And don't we have to, you don't have to cast out far at all. Literally just right off the pier, right here. One might just come up right here. And these fish are so fast. They'll just strike at it real quick. They're, they're not, they don't care if you're, you're there. As long as the bait's there, they're, they're after the bait, really. They don't really care. They see bait, they'll strike. Look at that one just came up. He's definitely after my bait. Oh, missed. Oh, he got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, they were fired up, guys. Another one. A little bit smaller, but... Oh, he missed it. He missed the... Uh... He missed the bait. A little bit smaller. Uh, I guess we'll let we'll let this guy go. Oh, 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 oh. You want him? Okay. Careful. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. About to get smoked right here. Oh. There we go. About time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got somebody's line. You are on him. Oh, pretty, pretty fish. Pretty fish. That is a good one. That's one we're after right there. Pretty cool. Good one. I'm gonna bleed him. Man, too bad the fight is so fast with these fish. I mean, once you hook them up, within five seconds, they're already on the, uh, on the pier. All right, let's send another bait down there here. See if we can whack more of that size. I can literally do this all day, man. <laughs> I mean, it is a lot of fun, Spanish mackerel fishing. I don't do it very often, as you guys see on the, uh, on the channel, but when I do get to come out here and target them, it's, it's a whole different ball game. Oh, oh, dude, he smoked it as soon as that bait hit the water. Did you see him? <laughs> That's cool. It's so much fun when they come up and do that. So the Spanish mackerel bite completely stopped when the dolphin showed up. Well, I think we did pretty good with the uh, Spanish mackerel fishing, but you know, it'd be nice to get Pompano in the mix. We came out here earlier in the morning uh, fishing for Pompano. Look, she's got one. They're around. See the keeper? Small. Yeah, a lot of small ones. But still, you know, I, like I said, I was fishing for him earlier in the morning and water was super murky, super rough, but it's clearing up a little bit now and the pompano showed up. So, um, we're gonna see if we can get a, you know, a decent pompano here on camera. Oop, there you go. That's a pump right there. Oh yeah might be small though. I don't know, he might be a keeper. Oh, of course. Let's see if we can get him out. Got him out. Oh yeah. Tiny. It's a smaller one there. Target species there. All right, so, you know, Pompano, obviously they have to be 11 inches to the fork. 
Um, this guy here is probably 10 inches to the fork, so we're gonna have to let him go back. All right, guys, we absolutely crushed the Spanish macro today. I mean, it was nonstop action. Everybody was hooking up, a lot of fun. We probably caught like five or six Spanish mackerel, all solid size. We're gonna take them to Ted Peters and have them smoke them for us and then make fish dip out of them. One of my favorites. Anyways, before I close out this video, let me go over the, uh, the tackle and the terminal tackle I use in this video to be able to catch these fish. All right, let's go over the first outfit I was using for pompano fishing this morning. Uh, the rod here is a Shimano Zodia 7 foot medium light action paired up with the PC Fun Carbon X2 2000. This reel here is phenomenal. 20 pounds of max drag, which is plenty to stop your inshore fish, even big fish too, wide open water, you should be just fine. Six two to one gear ratio, um, 11 bearings, super smooth, smooth drag as well. I like that matte black color, which goes with any other rods really, not just the, the Zodias. You can pick up the PC Fun Carbon X2 2000 by using the link down in the description box below. Uh, use the code THANI15 to save 15% off. I have this reel paired up with 10 pound braid, uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and just using pompano jig and the teaser I tied up myself. That's what got the job done, pompano fishing. The next setup I was using to target Spanish mackerel is the seven foot medium action Zodius paired up with the 3000 uh, PC Fun Carbon X2. This reel is pretty much the same as the 2000 size. Um, the only difference is I think it has a little bit more drag. This reel has 22 pounds of max drag. Uh, again, super smooth, smooth drag. I like that drag clicker on it. Super light as well. These reels weigh, I mean, 7.2 ounces. This whole outfit here weighs nothing. So you can literally jig all day with these outfits. But I like to uh, fish with the lighter outfit because I mean, who wouldn't? Especially pompano fishing. I have this reel paired up with 10 pound braid, same deal, and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. For the hook, I was using a size six uh, long shank J hook. You know, you gotta use small long shank J hooks when targeting uh, mackerel, otherwise they'll clip you off instantly. I find that these hooks here work really good for Spanish mackerel fishing. These are the uh, Ohiro Trident J hooks size number six and these are the pompano jigs i was using this morning with the teasers i tied up myself that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys like this video hit the like button hit the bell notification hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one